Today we are going to review the Breezewell NDY DL2 Evaporative Air Cooler. And let's see if this can replace an air conditioner unit. And inside the box you'll find the unit. It looks like there's some protective film on it. Let's take it off. And inside the box, there looks like there's the instruction manual and also a remote control. And this is what's inside the bag. Looks like you get uh, two AAA batteries, your remote, and your instruction manual. And here's the part, I guess, where you fill your water. Um, let's see. It looks like these vents move. Okay, here's the side of the unit. And here's the back. And it looks like this might be the water reservoir. And it looks like there's two screws here and here to hold the filter in the back. So you want to take those out to remove the filter. And here the screws are removed. And let's take out the filter. And here's the filter. It's a hard, I think paper or plastic. And it looks like you can wash it. So here's the inside and here's the outside. And here's the feet for the bottom. And it looks like you just push them down to fit. Here. So use some force and you can fit them into the unit. Unit is plugged in, let's turn it on. And there's three fan settings. One is on low. Choose medium and freeze high. So this is the, the noise of the unit. It's not too bad. It's pretty quiet. And there's a timer of two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, ten hours, and twelve hours. So it looks like the six plus four plus two. Uh, there's a mode here. I think this is called a breeze mode. So the unit will go on and off instead of continuously blowing. So you can hear it go on and then go off. This is the cooling and the cooling actually pumps water. You can see water is being moved in the unit. So when you turn off cooling, it stops. And cooling starts. Here's the water. So for this cooling to be more like an AC unit, it comes with four of these ice blocks. So I've already added the water and froze them each. And in each pack it says there's a max line. See this line right here? So don't fill your water higher than this line when you fill up standing. And in the instructions, it looks like there's crystals inside each of these boxes that make it more like a gel. So once you put your water, you just want to leave it at room temperature for a couple of hours. Then you can freeze it. And... Once you have filled up your reservoir with water, you can put it in your ice box, like such. So that way, as the water is circulating, this ice is cooling it, creating a, like an air conditioning effect. 
You can also put two of the ice blocks inside the rear bottom reservoir here. And this will also aid in the cooling. So you have four of these ice blocks total. So with the ice blocks in and water filled, we're going to start the unit. Power max cool. And the air definitely feels much cooler than just adding plain room temperature water, obviously, because there's ice blocks. So I think this will help cool down your room uh, during the warm summer months. Yeah, this unit only uh, will use a lot less electricity than a regular AC unit. So if you're in a bind, I do recommend this. Enjoy.